Hi there, this is Particle Physics, Notation and Specific Charge. This is Lesson 1, Dray Level Physics. I'm assuming that you've done GCSE, or GCSE equivalent. I will touch back on things that are on the GCSE. So let's start. Structure of an atom. So this should be familiar. So an atom consists of a centrally positively charged nucleus that contains protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons combined are called nucleons. They have a diameter of approximately one femtometer, which is to the order of my, to the power of minus 15 meters, so very small. The electrons obviously orbit or surround the nucleus. And the atomic diameter is approximately, you know, the region times 10 to the minus 10 meters, or roughly 100,000 times larger than the diameter of the nucleus. Remember at any point, if you want to take some notes, just pause, uh, make the appropriate notes, and then continue. So now we're going to do some properties of subatomic particles. Remember to pause if you need to, once the information is displayed. So first of all, the charge. So charge of a proton in coulombs is positive 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. A neutron has got no electric charge. The electron is opposite of a proton of minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Relative to the proton, so this is GCC, protons plus one, we call the neutron zero, and the electron is minus one. So mass, the mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. A neutron is basically the same, essentially. An electron is quite a bit smaller, a lot less massive, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. All of this data should be on your on the appropriate data sheet for your exam board. So relative to a proton, proton's mass is one. Neutron is also one. Electron, 0 0.0005. Considerably less massive. Couple of extra notes. Unified mass unit. 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. This is, these are on the data sheet also. Charge an electron, which we've just discussed. Minus 1.6 to the minus 19 coulombs. Proton number Z. Proton number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Also known as the atomic number. So if you hear the you know, atomic number, it's just the number of protons. And atoms of the same atomic number are of the same element. I'll touch on this later when I talk about isotopes. Nuclear number, A. This is equal to the number of nucleons, and a nucleon is a protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Another name, it's also known as mass number. Remember to pause if you need to, or just rewind. Isotopes. So isotopes are atoms that have the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. So they have different, different masses. Isotopes have the same proton number, and so are all of the same element. Next, we're going to look at some isotope notation. So for example, we could have carbon-12. So it could look like this. So a num uh, when something looks like that, the 12 is just the, the mass. So this could also be written as carbon 12,6. Remember, the bottom number is the number of protons, and the top number is the mass of a nuclear number. So we could also have carbon 13,6. So again, it must have six protons because it's carbon. What's changed is the mass number. So this carbon is, must have an extra neutron. And the same with this one, carbon-14. Still has six protons because it's carbon. Mass number's increased, which means it's got an extra neutron. So top number's mass or nuclear number. Bottom number is atomic number or proton number. So here's a table, 
for you to complete. So just pause the video, have a go, and then I'll take you through the answers. So a number of protons is Z number. Z number is the, the number of protons. Number of neutrons would be the difference between the A and Z. So that'd be seven. So the symbol, mass of 14, proton number is seven. So look at the next one. Mass number of 20, Z number of nine. So a number of protons is really easy. Nine. Number of neutrons is the difference between the A and Z will be 11. So the next one. A will be 238. We just add the 146 and the 92. The Z number is the number of protons, which we already have, 92. Number of protons. Again, we already have it. For the symbol, just put the 238 in. So 11. As in the symbol. Z will be 6. Because the number of neutrons is 5. So the total mass is 11. So the number of protons must be 6. Number of protons is obviously 6. The same. Symbol we would have 6 at the bottom. The next one. Proton number 92. Which is the total mass. 235 minus the 143. Number of protons is obviously the same because Z is the number of protons. Two, three, five, ninety-two, and if it's got ninety-two protons, it must be uranium, as we can see. The previous question: uranium ninety-two protons. Hopefully that went okay. Specific charge of the nucleus. So let's calculate that. We do the charge of the particle divided by the mass of the particle. And it's measured in coulombs per kilogram, or C kg minus one. So if you want to write that down. So what we're going to do is this example, calculate the specific charge of a nucleus of helium. And the helium has numbers four two. So specific charge is charge over mass. So we've got two protons. So the charge will be We've got two protons, and the charge of each proton is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Divided by the total mass. So our mass number is 4. And we multiply by the, the value u, which we were given earlier. So that would be 1.67 times 10 to the power minus 27. Put that in your calculator. And that will give you the specific charge of the nucleus, which is... 4.8 times 10 to the 7 coulombs per kilogram. So now we've done that example. If you want to have a go at this next one. So it's calculate the specific charge of a nucleus of uranium-235. And when you've done, I'll take you through the answer. So we need to do charge divided by mass. So total charge is 92 times the charge of a proton. And then we need to divide that by the total mass, which will be 235, multiplied by the U value, which is 1.67, times 10 to the minus 27. And that would give us a specific charge for this nucleus of 3.8 times 10 to the 7 coulombs per kilogram. Hopefully that went okay. Let's move on to the next bit. So here's a question for you to have got. Which of these nuclei has the smallest specific charge? So you could do the full calculation. But this would normally come up as maybe a multiple choice. So we have to do this in a quick manner. Unless it is a long answer, a long answer question and they, you know, they want to know specifically what each value is. But we can just do charge divided by mass. So the charge of the helium is 2 divided by mass, 4. And then the lithium 
would be 3 over 7. The carbon would be 6 over 13. And 17 over 37 for the chlorine. So 2 over 4, just gives 0 0.5. 3 over 7 gives 0 0.4. 28571. The carbon, 6 over 13, which is 0 0.461538. And then finally, the chlorine, which is 17 over 37, which is 0 0.459. So the smallest specific charge is the lithium. Hopefully that went okay. Let's have a look at something else. So what about an ion? So in this example, so a calcium ion is formed by removing two electrons from an atom of calcium. What is the specific charge of the calcium ion? When the question is specifically talking about ions, we need to do charge over mass, but the charge is not the charge in the nucleus because it's not asking about the nucleus. So we need to do the charge of the ion. So we've removed two electrons. So the charge of the ion is it now has two extra protons. The charge is two times the charge of a proton. And then we need to divide by the mass. So the mass would be 40 times 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. If you put that in your calculator, that'll give you the mass, sorry, not the mass, the charge per unit mass of this ion. So we get 4.79 times 10 to the 6. Coulombs per kilogram. So let's do another practice question. So an atom of oxygen gains three electrons, gains three electrons. What is the specific charge of the ion? So I've got this one. Then I'll take you through the answer. So this time we've gained three electrons. So if we gain three electrons, the overall charge of this ion will be negative. So we need to do three times the charge of an electron. So that'll be minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by the mass of the ion, which is, so it's oxygen 16. So we have 16 multiplied by 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. Put that in our calculator. So we get 1.8. Times 10 to the 7 coulombs per kilogram. So hopefully that went okay. It's quite a lot of information. Quite a lot of new data. So make sure you know you read over your notes. Do the practice questions again maybe. And hopefully that's okay. So thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you soon.